what's up guys welcome back to the channel and another video today some more pov action and we are in balantoy harbor which is probably the cutest and just generally coolest little harbor i've ever been to would you agree <laughs> it is quite adorable um for any of you who are interested this harbor was featured in somewhere or other in game of thrones um yes we are actually irish and we haven't watched game of thrones one of few people that actually yeah I, don't... Well, I actually feel like it's kind of rude on our part yeah i almost feel like it's kind of rude although yeah it was, it was out for a good while and i just heard so many spoilers and stuff i was like i can't be bothered watching it but <laughs> if you've watched it this harbor was in it in some way or other we'll if there's a photo we'll put on screen now just to refresh your mind um just a cool little fun fact um yeah got the action cam on gonna do a little wander around take some photos because i feel like this is the kind of spot that i really like for photography um this isn't the weather that i really like and it's starting to rain so hopefully we can get some uh, some photos in before we end up having to stop but yeah cool little spot i mean that is a cute tiny little harbor <laughs> right let's go All right, this little angle of this harbour looks kind of cool. And now the lights are on, which is a nice little benefit. Gonna stick the timer on just because I always be wary of the stabilisation on this thing adding a bit of blur, especially when I'm bragging because it's going to be a lower exposure. That looks kind of cool. And I also might take one in portrait. You don't know me? No, I am not. <laughs> Why would you think I was talking to you? <laughs> A little bit trickier to get everything in portrait, but even those lamps were cool. Kind of cool. Yeah, this is actually nice with the little fence going across the side. I also like this little, I think this is a little boathouse just right here. Kind of like it just sitting by itself with the, the little, uh, uh, what do you call those? Safety ring? <laughs> what do you call the little orange uh, ring? What's the actual name for those? <laughs> a what? Life? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember the name of them. That's kind of embarrassing. This is nice though. Using the fence in the foreground, the grass is really nice too. We have a couple of lamps in the background. Might also actually try one through the fence, might be cool. All right, let's go up here and see. All right? Two very exciting things. What? So, if you go over there, on down, you can frame this building with the lamppost to the side of it. How can you see that from up there? No, no, I was I was over there. Right, so you can, you can try that for a photo. And if you go up here, there's the sun setting is over here and the smoke, there's chimney coming out. Ooh. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. You can't get it out. So obviously there is a van parked right there, which I don't want to include. Oh, 
might work. Kind of hard to frame it because we have obviously got a bin down there, which isn't really nice. And then the uh, car in the car park here. Cool scene, just might be hard to make look as nice as it actually does, but I do still like it. Thanks whoever lives in that house for lighting your chimney, that looks great. Lighting your chimney, lighting your fire. We'll take a little walk down to the little boathouse. This is kind of cool though. There's just something really nice about those lamps just in the background. I'll go with an F5.6, shutter speed 160th, and I'm bragging. No, I actually won't bother bragging this time. It's quite nice. I'll go a little bit lower. kind of like the idea of this thing and we still don't know the name of what these are yeah smell is strong indeed <laughs> it's got to focus on this orange ring the ring on one side, the lights really are giving me something to sort of play with in the background. Kind of cool. Tricky because I don't want the uh, ring to be over anything. I want it to be just like uh, easy to see. So like with the sky in the background. I'm gonna go really tight with this one. That's kind of cool. Water's actually kind of calm looking. Get something along here. This is the one thing with the XT30 I don't like that it doesn't have the articulating screen. So once I go really low, I can't really see anything when I'm in portrait mode, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, this isn't great, it's very sort of textury shot. I feel like we should probably walk around there. I like how all those lamps are over there. Though that lamp's quite cool. That's a very minimal shot right there. Just, I'll, just a lamp, a little life guard ring thing. Now this is my type of minimal shot right here. Maybe kind of straight on with it. This is kind of cool if you can see what I'm doing. Very minimal but I just love these type of shots. Not sure if this will turn out exactly what I'm sort of thinking, but I do quite like it. All right, so obviously you can see this place be photographed quite a bit. Space reserved for authorized photography, arts, and crafts traders only. So. I guess I will take a picture right here then. <laughs> this is kind of like the shot that you will probably see if you look up this spot. Probably want to be down on the grass though. Right, so I use this little bit of grass here. Hopefully you can see this when I crouch down. Yeah, that's more like it. Drop my aperture a bit lower because I'm sort of shooting past the grass. Might actually be better in portrait and just cutting the lights out as much as I do like them. Let's try this and I'll cut the grass out or I'll cut the lights out. All 
All right, that might look kind of cool. It really is just such a cool little spot. I kind of would like to get a lamp by itself, even though I already sort of did. <laughs> like that one there is just great. But, but even that against the sky is kind of cool. Uh, let's see what I can do. You want to see something that you like? <laughs> wow! Wow! That's my type of shite there. That is my cup of tea right there. There's something about these lamp posts that are really cool. And this one's super yellow, so the contrast with it and the sky is kind of ridiculous looking. But they do quite like it. If you've watched many of our videos before, you will know how I like a very minimal shot and this is certainly one of them very nice sound about lamps <laughs> it's just cool where is that we fly yeah he's somewhere Buzzing around. If he comes in the shot, he's dead. He'll be back, for sure. And that is pretty much where we finished up with this one. It started to get just way too dark and we didn't have the tripod, so no more shots. We've been trying to get this one up for the past couple of days, trying to get it done as soon as possible because we're actually going on a little trip tomorrow. Just a short overnight trip, um, but we'll we'll film probably a video there and show you all of that anyway but we're going yeah. to a little island yeah which is kind of which is kind of cool um so we're actually filming this outro part and um, we're going to try and keep it short and sweet because i need to go back and edit the video and try to get it up before we leave tomorrow morning i don't think we can um, do short and sweet <laughs> no not really uh, just before we get into like our favorite photo and stuff uh, we did run a poll like we did last week or for the last video on our community tab and this time it was what is your favorite type of photography to do? And we yeah. had landscape, street photography, lifestyle, portrait, and other. Other? other? Just for just any I mean, more. there is so many types, so you can't list them all. So like kind of anything else other than those things. Uh, so what was the top result? Um, The top result was, I actually need it. Can you check? <laughs> And landscape photography managed to take it with 38% and um, very, very close with street photography. Very close. Um, a lot of you guys obviously do street photography and I kind of thought street photography would be up there um, in the Fuji film sort of community. Uh, it seems yeah. to be a lot of street photographers and the cameras just sort of suit that style of photography. Um, what was the other one? Port Was it portraits? Portrait, yeah. Came in at in third. In third position. Then lifestyle and other were quite a bit lower. Um, yeah, so mainly landscape photographers and street photographers following us which is probably what i would have thought <laughs> yeah um it's just interesting to know we like we said we did a live stream the other day and we just said we would do more of these little poses just out of interest um this one was nothing spectacular well, but it's good to know what type of photography that you guys like to do so yeah uh, i i honestly don't really know what we would say that we do um i don't know if somebody asked me what type of photographer i am i mean 
lifestyle maybe lifestyle nature yeah i don't is know i honestly don't really know what lifestyle is sort of documenting your your stuff and your travels <laughs> and stuff which is yeah, what we do kind of not traditional landscape photography but yeah it's kind of a mix um, um but yeah it's just cool to know what what you guys uh, do and are probably interested in all right what is your favorite photo from the session um okay for me i think it's probably i mean i do like the wide ones where you can see the full scene with the the lamps on the one side and the harbor and the little boathouse and stuff like that those are quite quite nice but for me the one that caught my eye was the building with the smoke the, the chimney the coming house? from the smoke the building the building the house yeah the, the cottage house, the little cottage with the the smoke and the little path going through and then you can see like the islands in the background and the water it's just kind of cool as you heard me saying in the video it was kind of hard to get the <laughs> shot without a bin or a car or something and i was sort of trying to cut all that out yeah the car that is in it is a little bit annoying but you don't really notice it too much so it's it doesn't take away from the photo yeah the the path and everything and obviously the smoke coming out of the chimney is cool uh, i would like to go back and try and get that from a different angle and see see what i could do mm. and i feel like that's sort of the story with most of the shots in this video um there's a lot of potential there <laughs> and when i was taking them like through the viewfinder it looked better than when i came back to edit them just because uh, obviously when you're looking through the viewfinder it, it's probably brighter than what what it actually is and just looks nicer um i think the compositions are good but the lighting was uh yeah not not great so so the moral of this video is is that we have to go back to that location to try those photos again yeah definitely in better light and i think it would suit more my edit and style and everything um the photo i like the most i think there's actually two um the very first one i got um, with the grass in the foreground and the little yellow, uh, I don't know what they are, like weeds, flowers, whatever they yeah. are. They add a little bit of colour and then the boathouse and the lamps in the distance. Um, probably one of my favourites. And then also the last few photos of the lamp with just the sunset sky in the background. That really is uh, my cup that's, of tea. Yeah, that's a you photo. Very sure. minimal, nice gradient in the sky. And yeah, <laughs> I just really like how those last ones turned out. The action cam footage was a little bit annoying. It was from the SJ10 Pro. I can never get that right. Um, and for some reason, Chris forgot to turn on distortion correction. So the, it started to get all weird at the edges and it, it just didn't look right. So we had to actually zoom into a lot of the shots. That's a little bit annoying, um, but it is something that we'll learn for, for the next time. And maybe we might just buy a GoPro. We might just have to bite <laughs> the bullet and buy a GoPro. We've tried a few different action cams and the reliability is the problem. That's the problem. Um, just getting everything, nice picture, a decent bit of low light, no yeah. weirdness going on. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think the moral of the story is just because you go to a spot and it, and it looks nice, it might not be the best time, it might not be the best lighting. So if you find some nice compositions and stuff, make sure you go back there and hopefully the light will be better, which I think we will do. And yeah. We'll share those images when we do. Okay, so that's it for this one. If you did find this video somewhat enjoyable, do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the video. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Is that it? I think so. As we always say, guys, take it easy. Don't be a stranger.